Okay, good morning, boys and girls. We are going to do a new social studies activity today. T still talking about maps, but we're going to move to the next level. That is going to be something called cardinal direction. Before we get into that in depth, I want to sing you a song to help you remember the cardinal directions. You can follow along with me. Here's our song right here. All of these words will probably be pretty easy for you to sound out and decode. So if you want to sing along with me, join in, please. If you like the oceans best, travel east or travel west. If you like the cold and snow, north is the way you should go. If you like the hot, hot sun, head down south for lots of fun. So that's our Cardinal Direction song. I wonder if you noticed the special direction words in the text. You might be able to point them out pretty easily because they have a distinct text feature. All the cardinal directions are underlined. We see this in some of our books we read. We have east and west. We also have north and south. And I bet some of you superstars notice those special two letter sound blends in all those words. We have east, where at the end and we have west with the s blend at the end and we also have north and south both with the sound at the end good job guys we're going to move on and look at a map and apply these direction words to a flat map of the united states of america now this probably looks familiar you've probably seen a map like this before I wonder if anybody has ever noticed the compass rose that is down in the corner. It looks like a artistic arrow or a star that's pointing in all directions. At the top, pointing up, we have north or an N because north starts with N. At the bottom, pointing down, we have south, and the S tells us south. We also have pointing to the left, the W, which stands for west. And then pointing to the right of our compass rose star, we have an E for east. Now, what's special about this star is that anywhere you see it on the map, it's going to show you which way the directions go. So cardinal directions give us the way to go. So if the end is pointing up, that means that way is north. If it's pointing down, that means that way is south. This way is west and this way is east. So here, right here in the middle, we have our big compass rose with all of our directions. Now we're going to pick up some of these objects over to the side and we're going to put them in certain directions. So for example, let's do one together. We have the kitty cat, the gray cat. Let's put him in the south. Let's put him in the south. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick him up and drag him all the way down to the bottom where it says south. Okay, and I'm just gonna put him right next to that so we can see that word. Now, we're gonna pick up the unicorn. I want you to try to see if you can find where on the compass rose I want you to put him. When you find it, I want you to point to it with your strong, strong finger. Let's put the unicorn in the west. Let's put the unicorn in the west. Put your finger 
towards the box that says west. And that's this box right here. We're gonna put the unicorn dancing on top of that box west. I wonder if you used your smart, smart brain to decode this word west. We can hear the beginning sound. It starts with a W, west, west. All right, let's pick up this big green frog. We're gonna put him in the north. Let's put the frog in the north. I want you to point with your finger, where is the north? We're gonna put him right here next to the north box. North. And the last one, the dragonfly. Let's put the dragonfly in the east. Can you point with your strong finger? Where is the east? There we go, right next to that east box. E, E, east. Okay, boys and girls, now that we have become familiar with our cardinal directions, north, south, west, and east, we're gonna move on to what your activity is for today and tomorrow. You are going to find a spot somewhere in your house or outside in your backyard, and you're gonna sit down crisscross applesauce somewhere where you can look around you, okay? And you're gonna tell me what you see in each direction north, south, east, and west. So you're gonna say, to the north, I can see, and tell me what you can see. And I want you to write when you are completing this activity in your three-star triple whammy sentences. <laughs> 